Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be playing with alcohol markers, more specifically the Oros sketch markers, and this is the 24 pastel color set from Artex. And I've worked with Artex in the past, um, but I wanted to let you guys know that Artex will be celebrating their anniversary, and they're going to have basically um, a lot of contests, giveaways, and big product discounts all the way from the August 15th to the end of August. So please do check out their Instagram for more information if you would like to check that out. I have things in the description as well. You can check that out as well. Okay, right. so um, you can see that these are the color range for the pastel colors. Now, if you already purchased the 40 set that they have, there is no overlapping colors. So this works perfectly for anyone who wants to kind of combine this set with a previous Oro set that you already have or just even complementing any other alcohol markers you have. So I'm just showing you guys the case real quick. It comes with this really cute bag case. So you kind of open it up and it has, it's kind of like one of those uh, rolled up uh, brush cases basically. So it kind of makes everything kind of more compact and organized. You can see it fits about four markers in each of the slots. Now I did play around with the bag a little bit more. You can put a little bit more markers in there if you want it to be a little bit more snug. It also has this little button clasp so that you can close it and keep everything safe. So I was showing you guys that if you do tip the bag, because there's a little bit more room, the markers do kind of slide out. So just be a little bit aware of that if you plan to travel with them. So the Oros markers are sketch markers. So they do come with a chisel tip on one side and a brush tip on the other. So here's the brush tip. The brush tip is a little bit more flexible as well as it can help you have a little bit softer brush strokes while the chisel tip is great for filling in larger areas or even a little bit of those tiny little details that you might want to do with a more firm uh, tip. So I'm also using their Kara Kara sketch marker pad. I'm just taking out a sheet or two just to help with bleed through because it is marker paper. It just makes it a lot easier for me not to worry about bleed through. So I'm placing one underneath before I am working on the swatches. So I'm just doing quick swatches. I didn't fill them out like super neatly. I wanted to go a little bit quicker and I wanted to see how much um, bleed it had or like feathering on this paper so I was just kind of testing it out and because these are alcohol markers you can see how flat and smooth the colors lay out which I really like so in this pastel set um, so let me take a quick look it has a nice range it has a lot of blues it has a fair amount of pinks as well as like um, greens and yellows and yeah I actually re really like the color selection there is no like um, well, because it's a pastel set, there's not like super, super bright colors or super like saturated colors. So I think the color selection is actually quite nice. Um, I had no issues using it. You're going to be seeing that today, the illustration that I'm doing is of a character that already has a fairly light color scheme. I decided that I wanted to go with something like that just because I wanted to see how well the colors work together. Um, as if I was not trying to make everything like pastel tone, if that makes sense. Um, but this definitely works if you want to work with like pastel spreads. I think the color range is quite nice. You can see a lot of the cooler tones are at the top. And it's going to be separated by a lot of the peach tones, the pink tones, I believe a little bit of the purple. And then as we get to the very bottom, we will get more to the yellows and the greens. So, yeah. Uh, Peony was actually quite nice. Peony, I think, and Aqua Cyan and maybe even cornflower blue are kind of the more darker colors of the set. Peony works really nicely because we got clams, pink, and light pink tulips, which are a little bit similar. I did find that um, even in the blue set, I think milky lavender and pale thistle get a little bit uh, close in color, but I think it's nice enough so that you can have um, kind of like a blue or a purple that kind of fits to whatever color scheme within a pastel set. And then, yeah, so we have about five yellows, four greens. In the pinkish area, we have kind of five colors and then purple and blue together. We kind of have, I believe, 10 colors together. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys really closely what the swatches look like. If you're curious about the colors, you can see that, yeah, some of them are a little bit similar. And then the other ones are, there's like a little bit of variation, which is kind of nice. Yeah. 
So I've never really used an alcohol pastel set before, but I was really excited to use this one. So I decided to sketch out Chong Yoon really quickly. He has a very light color scheme in my opinion, other than like some details like his undershirt. I think part of his pants and stuff are on the darker side, but I'm trying to lean everything um, close to matching his color. But then if he has any dark colors, I'm just going to see if I can layer up. So to prep the paper, uh, because this is Finn notebook paper, I am making sure that nothing's on the other side. I am also making sure that I am putting the sketch marker pad paper underneath each side where I have drawn Chong Yoon so that I don't really have to worry about bleed through. Oh, I guess I'm doing that right now. So yeah, I'm making sure to put some kind of paper underneath so that I don't accidentally have bleed through to um, other pages, just in case if I go too ham with coloring. So coloring for the uh, illustration, I decided that I wanted to work with the skin first. I am just trying out a bunch of different things. I don't really use alcohol markers that often. So basically I was kind of like testing out different ways I could layer up the markers a little bit just because I should have probably done a test but I think me working on Chong Yun actually was an okay way of kind of testing out the markers so I decided to layer up I think it was like peony so some of the darker tones first prior to adding like the lighter skin tone just because I wanted to see if I could blend it out a little bit more smoother and it kind of worked so I was kind of happy about that. I'm adding some of the purple tones into the shadows just to push a little bit of the depth of the skin. So um, for the skin tone, I was just layering up a lot of the peach and kind of like light yellows that they had. So if you're a person who wants a varied, obviously, skin tone set or something like that, you might want to look towards a different set to accompany with the pastel set. I think this one's great for if you're doing... Um, even like smaller doodles or specific color palettes because yeah i think it like the 24 colors itself works really well with each other but it, yeah if you're planning to do like other characters that have more varied skin tones then i definitely recommend getting another set to go along with this one um now i was an idiot and i was actually too distracted while i was filming this so i missed a good portion of the hair i do apologize i was layering up a bunch of blues and making sure that I'm flicking the brush tip forward or like away so that we can kind of get a little bit of a gradient from the skin tone to his hair, which I usually like to do when I'm working digitally. So that's what I was trying to achieve. Okay, so while I was working on the hair, like I said, I kind of missed like a good chunk of it. So hopefully when I work on the second Chong Yoon, you guys will see me work with the hair. So I tried my best to make it as soft as I could. I was also trying to push the values just a little bit. I know this is a pastel set, but because it is kind of like alcohol markers, you can layer up as well. So I was kind of layering up the color slowly so that we could kind of push the values just a little bit and then uh, kind of make the colors a little bit more accurate. So I did notice that everything looked a little bit too uh blue so i believe i'm gonna add a little bit of pink and a little bit of that lighter yellow color into his outfit as well just to kind of warm it up a little bit so i'm adding that right now and i think it kind of helps kind of keep the color consistency looking a little bit better so usually when i um, digitally paint as well sometimes when I'm doing like watercolor let's say I try my best to mix like both blues purples and sometimes even like more beige or even browns or kind of like peachy tones into white depending on the color scheme as well as um, how much I want to push the warms and the cools so that's what I usually do um, I decided that I wanted to do the line work last. Um, I know previously when I've worked with alcohol markers and I was working with the Artex markers before, um, I don't have a lot of pens that are compatible with alcohol markers because I use a lot of markers that tend to bleed. So I wanted to do the line work after. Now I didn't have like a specific material or like supply in mind that I wanted to use to do the line work with. I was thinking in my brain, like, do I want to do a pencil crayon like I usually do, just so I can match the colors a little bit more softly. Also, I decided to do Chong Yun skin a little bit different on this one, uh, just because I wanted to see whether or not the result will look any different. And I think either way, it kind of worked out. Uh, I also bleed in the skin tone into his hair a little bit so he can get that soft look again. But yeah, hopefully you guys can see how I did the hair for this one compared to the other one. Um, what was I talking about? Like, right, okay, line work. 
uh, I was gonna maybe do bullet point pen so that we could get a little bit more of a sketchier look but I liked how more finished it looked like how clean it looked compared to like previous ones that I've used I do understand why a lot of people like using the brush tip more than like a chisel tip or a bullet nib so yeah, it definitely achieves more of a softer look and you can easily blend the colors into one another because of how uh, the strokes look compared to like, let's say a bullet nib or the chisel tip. But I've definitely done other ones with the bullet nib and the chisel tip and I was still quite pleased with the results. So yeah, I think if you can, try out the sketch markers like or the oro set from artex but if not i believe their other set um, is also very good and has a really large range of colors they sent me their set previously but i bought the corresponding set that goes along with it with my own money so yeah i'm quite pleased with their products so yeah um talking about line work I decided to not use the ballpoint pen. I just thought black or a dark blue might be a little too jarring for what I wanted. Pencil crayon could have worked well, um, but I think I would have preferred using that um, prior to coloring and then kind of push the lines to be darker if I need them to. So this time, once I finish with the coloring, I'm just gonna take some water-based markers and they usually have like a dual tip. So usually a brush tip on one end and then a fine tip on the other. And it was easy for me to match colors and kind of make it look like it has a bit of a softer look. So that is what I'm going to do. So for the second drawing of Chong Yoon, I decided to go with more of like a summery look so I wanted to have him wearing kind of more lighter colors and kind of more flowier clothing um, just so because or wow I can't talk today I wanted to kind of play around to see if I could mix and match a little bit of the blues as well as work with a lot more whites because I really liked how um, the kind of like peachy tone and the blue work together so I kind of wanted to incorporate that if I could so right now I'm just blocking in basic shadows because the majority of his shirt and stuff is gonna be white. I am gonna add stripes to the outside kind of dress shirt area. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of the peachy tone to both the dress shirt as well as the inside shirt so that we can have a little bit of warmth in there as well. Mm, but yeah, you can see how I'm layering up the colors slowly. I decided to layer up, I think one of the more dull purples on top of the blue so that we could get a little bit more of a deeper shadow. Here I'm adding the stripes and yeah, it was quite easy to play around with these markers though. I definitely do like the brush tips more. But like I said, if I'm doodling and stuff, the chisel tip and the bullet nib work just as fine. I just think, yeah, using the brush tip is definitely a lot easier to blend colors and you get a little bit of more control, especially if you're a little bit more into or more used to using a brush in general. Um, so I'm here I'm trying to push the leaves in the background so I did use a light green and then I had a mid-tone green and then I went back into the leaves and added like that light purple around so it looks like Chong Yu has a bit of a shadow and then I pushed some of the leaves further back by layering up a blue color over top uh, but yeah here is I'm using a water based marker on top because I don't have to worry about bleed through at this point and I use mostly a dark blue for the majority of Chong Yoon as well as his clothing and then anything for the skin I kind of found like this reddish burgundy color that I could use and it kind of works out it almost gives it like a more of a like a luminous kind of airier feel which is kind of nice because the colors itself are quite vibrant and a little bit darker than the actual markers itself so yeah I quite like what it looks like um if you guys have any questions about the markers, uh, please do check out the description to check out the actual product, but as well as if you have any general questions about like usage and stuff, you can ask it in the comments and I'll do my best to reply and uh, kind of like troubleshoot or answer your questions about the product because I quite enjoy using their markers. It's always been a joy using their markers and it's kind of my first real dive into using alcohol markers. I've always had a few alcohol markers, but I've always had either like weird off brands that you find that like Walmart, um, which has like limited colors and like 
they just don't blend really well. I think they have good color payoff, but they just don't blend very well. And then I've always had a set of gray markers that I used to use quite a bit. So having all these colors is just fun to use if you have the opportunity. So yeah, I had a lot of fun. You can see I'm using kind of that red. It definitely looks a little bit more vibrant on camera. Um, but I think it kind of works out with his skin tone and stuff. It just makes it re look really luminous in a sense. Um, but yeah, when I was working on this Chong Yoon, I did do the base tone first and the, the shadows afterwards. And I think it did get a little bit of a smoother effect. But like I said, if you want to, because these are alcohol markers, you can just layer up and kind of like blend as you go as well. So that you can kind of budge the colors a little bit. So things turn out like really soft compared to if you're using like water-based markers, which tend to be really streaky and you can't really blend them unless you're taking a brush to it, but then you're sacrificing your paper. But yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, not too much to say. I just wanted to do two simple drawings today rather than, I had an idea to doing a whole spread, but because I was worried about, like worried about bleed through, I didn't want to spend too much time on one area and then keep shuffling around so I decided that I just want to do two kind of larger drawings in my sketchbook for for testing these. So yeah, I definitely recommend these if you want to maybe look into a marker set. I think the pastel set has a lot of uh, great color range if that's what you're looking for. It does not have like a pale brown color um, or like a gray per se, but there's definitely a color range that you could probably work with um, if that's something you're looking for. Here's the close-up. I wanted to show you guys the little marker detail. Like I said, this is on like notebook paper and I think the color payoff is really nice and it was able to blend quite nicely. So if you have the same notebook as I do, uh, yeah, alcohol markers still work quite nicely in here. So yeah, here's Chong Yoon and be sure to check out the description if you guys are interested in looking at the different discounts, the giveaways or contests that Artex will be holding for their anniversary anywhere from August 15th till August 30th. So yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful summer as well and hope you enjoyed today's video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! Oh, I actually forgot to mention. Um, yeah, I'm showing you guys the back pages of both of these just to show you the amount of bleed through that it had on this paper. This is fairly thin paper. It's not as thin as like printer paper, but it's fairly thin. Um, but yeah, here's a close up of what the bleed through looks like. Um, you can see areas where I definitely loaded up the marker a lot more on the paper and then some a little bit less. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.